Uh, our next speaker is Bruce Cody from the Pennsylvania Aggregates and Concrete Association. Bruce has extensive experience in concrete and especially Permeous Concrete. Um, he'll be able to tell you what's been working, what, what he's had problems with, and like the other sessions today, um, how siting and design has such a big influence on maintenance. Good morning, everyone. Um, I see a lot of familiar faces out here. I see a lot of people who have worked with horse paving. Uh, I'm going to answer some questions. I know there's been some issues, um, so I'm going to bring up some of the, the projects and, and talk about them and, and what we've learned. And we've learned a lot over the last two years. Ever since God decided we're going to have winners again, and we have learned an awful lot. Uh, but I'm going to talk about horse pavements, concrete, and asphalt. Uh, when, when I told my boss, the president of our association, that I'm going to talk about asphalt, he wasn't real happy with me. He's like, what are you doing? We, we don't talk about asphalt. The asphalt people don't talk about concrete. We're bitter enemies. Is there something wrong with you? And the, the point is, it, you know, I've been working with PennDOT for the last year on a porous concrete, porous asphalt specification and maintenance. And the one thing that both the asphalt people and the concrete people agree on are the maintenance aspects. You know, we're in dead agreement. It's hard to believe that we could sit at a table and agree on anything, but we do. You know, the maintenance aspects are the same, so I'm going to talk about them um, in, in the same way. If you have questions about asphalt mix designs or, or technical questions about coarse asphalt, please call the Pennsylvania Asphalt Paving Association because I cannot answer any of that stuff. Um, but uh, when it comes to the uh, maintenance aspect of it, we're both treating them the same. Um, one thing I want you to take away from today, you might forget about all this great stuff I'm going to talk about, but the one thing and I want to go to right off the bat to show you how easy it is to find out about maintaining pervious coarse concrete and asphalt. Um, we put videos on our website, we spent a lot of time and money to make it easy for everyone. And when people say to me, I don't know how to maintain it, well, I, how, do I, how am I supposed to learn about this? Very quick, very easy thing to do. Go to the specifiedconcrete.org uh, website. Go to the video page. Here we have all kinds of great videos, dry vacuuming pervious concrete, cleaning with a wet system, doing the infiltration tests, and just quickly want to show you this video, how simple it is. Any questions, go to specified concrete, go to this video, anything you want. I can talk for four days about this stuff, and you can watch this video in about two minutes and understand what you need to do. <laughs> And hopefully it works. Did everyone pick up the extra handout that was out front? Pervious concrete pavement is a rigid, permeable pavement that is the surface of a stormwater management system. The pervious concrete surface layer is a horizontal plane that is permeable to water and air. The second layer of the stormwater system is an open graded angular stone layer that is used for temporary stormwater detention. The pervious concrete filters sediments and pollution from stormwater deposited on the pavement surface and their sediments must be removed by vacuuming in the fall to maximize permeability in the winter and to minimize opportunity for freeze-thaw expansion of moisture trapped within the surface sediments. Since this permeable surface is a filter, like the filter, it must be cleaned periodically. Cleaning is performed by vacuuming to remove sediments that have accumulated. The frequency of the vacuuming is directly related to the amount of sediment that the surface receives over time. Dry vacuuming is just one method of the several possible techniques. The first step in creating a maintenance plan is to develop a baseline infiltration rate for your pervious concrete system. ASTM C1701 is the procedure used to determine the infiltration rate of pervious concrete. Performing an initial ASTM C1701 test for a baseline is best done the day the plastic curing is removed. Biannual inspections, spring and fall, using the ASTM C1701 test procedure should be performed to determine when maintenance services are necessary. Regular cleaning should be done with vacuuming equipment that can be adjusted to one half inch above the slab surface. Cleaning equipment 
should allow for the debris to be bagged and removed from the unit so it can be weighed. A maintenance log should be kept on the project with ASTM 1701 test results before and after the cleaning with a simple drawing of where these tests have been performed. The amount of material in pounds that was removed when cleaned. Observation describing the nature of the material that has been removed and description of the overall condition of the pavement. For more information about pervious concrete or other concrete related items, please consult our website. Okay, there, in two minutes and 17 seconds, everything you need to know. If you forget about it, go to Specify Concrete website, and there's, you know, there's the information. But, I mean, it really is that simple.